So today we're going to head on over to um, our friends here. Um, they're friends and local homesteaders and YouTubers. <laughs> Art and homesteading. We're going to head over to their homestead today. Um, they have talked about trying our chicken feed mix that we've done a video on. So we're going to take them a sample over. Um, chickens can be brats. So we're going to see if their chickens will even like them. We're also going to go ahead and take over some of our chicken treats. <laughs> So kind of see if their chickens like that too. So this morning I've been making bread so we can take a treat over with us. My sprouted wheat bread. So we're gonna take that over and uh, finish baking it there at their house. So it'll be kind of a fun outing. <laughs> Sarah's friend Banjo. There's the hey. master himself. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> We're good. We brought some bread dough. Oh wow! Awesome. So I need some hands. Like yeah. your type of? Yes. Awesome. Sprouted wheat. Oh cool! Yes. Yay. I'm so excited about that. So, do you have a pan I can use? <laughs> yeah. <It's right> here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Great to have good friends. Good places to come when you're bored at home. <laughs> Really good. Mm. Wow, okay. You've got to share the secret. <laughs> that the, is awesome. The secret's a little bit of love and hate into the dough. Love and hate. Yeah, I love. Can, I can love, kind of see the struggle. Love and hate. <laughs> <laughs> it's all That's a, about that. Two batches. So that'll make us four loaves. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks for sharing it with us. You're welcome. Thanks for having <laughs> well, me. Well, I can't assume that you're sharing it with us. <laughs> I brought it to your house. <laughs> no, I'm going to bring it here, cook it. And take it off. And take off. That's perfect. <laughs> so I was just sitting here thinking, you guys are who put me on the whole making my own bread journey to begin with. So, you know. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because um, I'd bring my wheat over and you'd grind my wheat. Yes. And we'd, make, we'd call them cow pies, the flatbread dough piece. <laughs> cow pies. I know the good old days. Last year. <laughs> Truth. Uh, feed the chickens some treats. Missy's got our bucket of, of uh, seeds. And, uh, oh, my, my Sam has caught a chicken. <laughs> it's a full grown baby chicken. Well, it's not baby, but let's check it out. It's so cute. It is so fun to uh, visit other homesteads because they have different things than what you have. I mean, we don't have a cute buttercup cow. Um, we don't have a trend. <laughs> We're gonna head on over to where the chickens reside and uh, see what they think of these uh, sprouts and uh, chicken grains. Walk around onto the road because uh, walking through the lake would not be the best of ideas. Such a beautiful day. This is actually where we got our rooster Bernard from. Um, they have a bunch of roosters and we're 
um, generous enough to share one with us last year, and he's been so wonderful. Nice, tame rooster. Is that so fun, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm a chicken nerd. Every chicken nerd needs a cute little chicken. Oh, she's just precious. Mama. Can I? Oh, oh, and the girls are feeding them the treats over here. Oh, let's wait, Banjo. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, we Alright, let's throw them to the chickens. <laughs> These are some happy hens and rooster. Ooh. Oh, they like it. Oh, she's, she's eating that sprout. Mm. I know. Okay, don't throw them around. You can just pour them right here, Ben. <laughs> so what I'm really asking is, hey buddy, <laughs> wow, awesome for a sprout. <laughs> I think it's a success. I think these chickens are liking these grains. They are. They, I mean, I can tell they love it. The sunflowers, they just seek those out and they just go and those first. And you can see them. You can see them eating the little grains too. This one, this little red right here. She's picking out. See. Oh yeah, like the bird seed and stuff. Yeah. That is one big pig. <laughs> That's their hammy pig. Um, they've had some debate on whether to, I mean, they've tried to breed her twice yeah. and uh, it hasn't taken. So they've got this heart-wrenching debate what they're gonna do, whether she'll be ham or if they'll try and breed her again. So we'll stay tuned for that. Um, again, we're at Art and Homesteading. Um, Art, because Trent is an amazing painter artist. Um, he's got some great work on his channel. Um, he also has a separate channel, just ch channel, channel just for his art. What's that? Trent Goodmanson. Just Trent Goodmanson. So check it out. If you're interested in art or not, it's amazing to see an artist at work. Just amazing. So really, couldn't ask for a better day so pretty out here and just so fun to visit another homestead. We're lucky to have such great friends um, and another homestead so close that's got so much entertainment for us. <laughs> Banjo says this is a cutie piggy. Um, cute? I don't know. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, is what I'm thinking. The song from uh, Lion King comes to mind. You can be a big pig too. Oi. Missy and I are going to go into the cow barn and say hello to Buttercup. So, I've not been around cows all that much, so it makes me a little bit nervous. To... She's just such a big animal. She's beautiful though. Hey, Buttercup! Eyeballs are huge. Uh-oh. We've enjoyed her milk on a few occasions and it's been just fun. <laughs> Hi, honey. Animals are just awesome. I love it. I love seeing where our milk comes from, where our meat comes from, eggs come from. Just so fun. You know, the general rule is to be afraid of roosters, but I mean, I am literally surrounded by roosters and I'm not, I'm not nervous at all. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with how you treat the rooster. Um, I read somewhere that you should never kick a rooster if it's coming at you. Um, I did do a lot of research on how to tame a rooster when ours were pretty mean last year. So, um, so yeah, there, and I think the breed has something to do with it too. There are certain breeds that are more gentle than others, but I think that just because a, a rooster is supposed to be scary doesn't mean that they are. So there's always um, other options, I guess. I mean, how you treat them, um, don't judge a chicken by its feathers. <laughs>
Laura Jean was saying you've lost a chicken to the road. Yeah, yeah, I got run over, and we're gonna we're gonna eat it. <laughs> why not? You <laughs> or know, at least we'll butcher it and find out if it's edible. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I think why not? I mean, it, you you know, if it didn't sit out there for a day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it was below freezing that day, so yeah. you know, instantly frozen, and I think it'll be really healthy. <laughs> Thirty dollars worth of chicken there. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. I so. I agree. I agree. <laughs> And then not to waste the life. I mean, if an animal gets it or a predator, that's gross, but... Yeah, or if it died of unknown reasons, like if it got sick, we've had that happen before and we don't want to eat them, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, same with us. If you just find it outside, it's like, nah. Yeah. But... But, yeah, it's in the fridge now, waiting waiting to be plucked, which... <laughs> that's <laughs> a hard job. It is. I might skin it. <laughs> yeah, I we've done that too. Timer's going off, so that means... Fresh bread. Oh, yay! <laughs> Let's go! Ooh, that one's really soft. Looks like uh, little Miss Emmy woke up from her nap. Mm -hmm. Yay! Ooh, yummy. Go ahead, Everett, you can have that. Do you usually let it cool yeah, all the way, like 100%? Hello, we're <laughs> vlogging you! <laughs> we're having a vlog party. Yeah, so you have to let sprouted wheat cool for at least 10 to 15 minutes because you can see we haven't let it, you can see how gooey it looks. Really oh, yeah. It's yeah. The, taste it's still, the taste is fine, but it turns to mush. So we're cutting it a little bit too quick, but we've got we're in a bit of a time crunch, and we don't want to wait. So we're gonna yeah, put up. I'm sad so about yeah, that's kind of crunching every time. The, you can see the gooey. It just turns to goo, but it doesn't affect the taste. A big thank you to Art and Homesteading for having us over today. Fun to see their animals. Um, fun to share our bread. It is so fun to share good things, whether it be food, animals, friendship. It's just great. So grateful for them and their family and uh, wonderful time here at Art and Homesteading's Homestead. And thank you for coming. This was so fun and this bread is amazing. I need to sprout my own wheat. <laughs> Thanks to Trent for sharing his family. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Trent. Thank you! <laughs> if you haven't already, head on over to Art and Homesteading. Um, wonderful people. Um, great to support um, your friends and just great channel. So head on over there, share and subscribe. Thank you. We're going to check if there's any more groceries. My mom, my dad, my sister, my other sister, and my other sister. But I'm the only boy in my family, and there's a, I have a cousin named David, and yeah. So let's go in the house and tell him that we didn't find any. We're coming to hide the hide.